What's up you guys, it's Deepoy and today we will create this awesome neon glowing logo effect in Photoshop. So we have already created some videos on the similar topic. So if you want to check out those videos, then the link for those videos will be in the description below. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests, then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free, then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So let's first start by creating a new document. So for that go to file and then select the option as new. And then you can set the width and height accordingly or else you can set it as follows width as around 3840 pixels height as around 2160 pixels and then set the resolution as around 300 pixels per inch and then click on create now the next thing we need to do is fill this document with that of a black background so for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color and then you can set the color as black and then click on ok so now once you have filled the document with that of the black color now the next thing we need to do is create the circle for our logo so for that select ellipse tool and then click on the fill icon and then select the fill as no fill and then let me just minimize it and then you need to click on the stroke icon and then select the color of the stroke as white and then let me just minimize it and then you need to set the size of the stroke to around 80 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default now using the ellipse tool you need to click on the document and then create a circle with height and width as around 1670 pixels so let me just do that and then you can click on ok so once you have created the circle now the next thing we need to do is place this circle at the center of the document so for that press ctrl or command on mac and then click on this background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the ellipse layer active after that select move tool and then you can click on align horizontal centers and then click on align vertical centers so now as you can see now that circle has been placed at the center of the document now the next thing we need to do is make this ellipse layer active by clicking on it and then we need to rasterize this layer so for that right click on the ellipse layer and then select the option as rasterize layer so once you have rasterized the layer your layer icon will look something like this now after that you need to go to filter and then other and then select the option as maximum and then you need to set the radius of the maximum to around 28 pixels and then you can set the preserve to around squareness now let me just show you the before and after of this maximum filter so for that clicking on this preview checkbox so this was the before and now this is the after after that you can click on ok so now as you can see now it is looking so much better now the next thing we need to do is rotate this circle by some degrees so for that we need to bring up the transform tool so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus t and then you can rotate the circle from the corner as follows so let me just do that so as you can see i'm rotating the circle by somewhere around 30 degrees after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it so now once your circle is ready now the next thing we need to do is type in the initials for our logo so for that select horizontal type tool and then you can select any font of your choice download link for the font i'm choosing is in the description below also if you don't know how to install font in photoshop the link for that is in the description as well and then you can set any appropriate size for your text i'm setting it to 200 point and then you can click on the foreground color and then set any random color at the moment which will be the color of our text anyways it won't matter since we are going to remove the color later on and then you can click on ok so once all the settings for the properties of the horizontal type tools have been done after that you can click on the document and then type in the initials for your logo so let me just do that so once you are done with the typing after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it so as you can see at the moment these initials are looking a bit squished and we need to expand them so for that we need to bring up the transform tool so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus t 
and then we need to expand this text vertically so for that go at the bottom and then press shift and then drag from the bottom as follows by pressing shift you can expand the text vertically so now this much expansion is looking perfect now after that we need to squeeze this text horizontally as follows so let me just do that so now this much squeezing looks proper now once you are satisfied with your text after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it now the next thing we need to do is place this text at the center of the document so for that press ctrl or command on mac and then click on this background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the text layer active and then select move tool and then click on align horizontal centers and then click on align vertical centers so now as you can see now the text has been placed at the center of the document now the next thing we need to do is make the text layer active by clicking on it now the next thing we need to do is only keep the text around the edges and remove it from the rest of the area so for that we need to set the fill of the text to around 0% so let me just do that so as you can see after setting the fill of the text to 0% your text is no longer visible but it is still present at that particular location now after that you need to click on add layer style option and then select the option as stroke now in the pop up you need to set the size of the stroke to around 13 pixels position as inside blend mode as normal opacity as 100% fill type as color and then click on the color icon and then set the color as white and then you can click on ok now let me just show you the before and after of the stroke option so this was the before and now this is the after after that you can click on ok so now as you can see now the basics of our logo is somewhat ready now the next thing we need to do is add some cuts around our text so for that we need to select pen tool and then you need to click on the drop down over here and then select the option as path and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default now using the pen tool you need to create the paths where you want to add the cuts around the text so let me just do that So as you can see this is the portion of the letter which I am planning to cut. Now let me just create a path for the second letter as well. So now I have created the paths of the portions of the text which I am planning to cut. So once you are done with the path creation, now after that you need to go to this paths tab. And then we need to get the selection of the paths which we have created. So for that press ctrl or command on mac and then click on the icon of the work path layer which will give you the selection of the work path you have created. So once you have the selection now after that you can again go to the layers tab. Now the next thing we need to do is invert this selection. So for that press ctrl or command on mac plus shift plus i key of your keyboard in order to invert this selection. So once you have inverted that selection, after that you need to click on add layer mask icon which will only keep the portion of the image which is inside of the selection and hide the rest of the text. So as you can see a mask has been added to the text and now our text is looking somewhat like this. So now the next thing we need to do is add some glow surrounding our text. So for that we need to create a duplicate of this text layer. So for that press ctrl or command on mac plus j. So once this duplicate layer has been created, now the next thing we need to do is drag this duplicate layer below our original layer. So let me just do that. So once you have dragged the layer below, now the next thing we need to do is rasterize this type. So for that right click on the text layer and then select the option as rasterize type. And then we need to apply this layer mask as well. So for that right click on the layer mask and then select the option as apply layer mask. After that we need to rasterize this layer style as well so for that again right click on the layer and then select the option as rasterize layer style. So now once you are done with all the rasterize then your layer should look something like this. Now after that we need to go to filter and then blur and then select the option as gaussian blur and then you need to set the radius of the gaussian blur to around 30 pixels and then let me just show you the before and after of this gaussian blur filter. So for that clicking on the preview checkbox. So this was the before and now this is the after. After that you can click on ok. So as you can see it adds a nice subtle glow surrounding the text. Now we need to add some more glow. So for that make the original text layer active by clicking on it. And then click on add layer style option. And then select the option as outer glow. Now in the pop up you need to set the blend mode as screen. Opacity to around 15%. Noise as 0%. Click on the color icon. 
and then set the color as white technique as softer spread as 0% and size to around 60 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default now let me just show you the before and after of this outer glow option so this was the before and now this is the after now after that we need to add some more outer glow but as you can see photoshop does not have an option in order to add one more outer glow layer style so for that we will use the drop shadow as an outer glow so for that select the option as drop shadow and then you need to set the blend mode of the drop shadow as linear dodge click on the color icon and then set the color as white set the opacity to around 10% make sure you tick this use global light option and then set the angle as 90 degree set the distance to around 3 pixels spread as 0% and size to around 250 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default now let me just show you the before and after of this drop shadow so this was the before and now this is the after after that you can click on okay So now once you are done with adding all the glows on the text layer now the next thing we need to do is add the same kind of glow on the ellipse layer as well so for that make the ellipse layer active by clicking on it and then click on add layer style option and then select the option as outer glow now in the pop up you need to set the blend mode as green opacity as around 75% noise as 0% set the color as white technique as softer spread as 0% and then set the size to around 100 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default now let me just show you the before and after of this outer glow option so this was the before and now this is the after now after that you need to select the drop shadow option and then set the blend mode of the drop shadow as linear dodge set the color as white set opacity to around 15% make sure you tick this use global light option and then set the angle as 90 degree distance as 0 pixels spread as 10% and then set the size to around 180 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default now let me just show you the before and after of this drop shadow so this was the before and now this is the after after that you can click on okay so after applying all the glows your logo should look something like this Now after that we need to merge all the three layers that is two text layers and the ellipse layer into a single group so for that press shift and then click on the top text layer which will give you the selection of the two layers as well as give you the selection of all the layers in between after that you need to press control or command on mac plus g which will combine all the selected layers into a single group so once you have combined all the layers into a single group now the next thing we need to do is add some colors to this logo so for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as gradient now in the pop up you need to click on the gradient icon which will give you another pop up in order to select your gradient now over here we will be selecting the custom gradient so let me just select it You can select any gradient of your choice but if you want to create the custom gradient which I am choosing then I've already shown that thing in a previous video and the link for that video will be in the card above or in the description below after that you can click on okay and then you need to set the style as linear angle as 90 degree scale as 100% make sure you untick this reverse checkbox and then you can click on okay now after applying the gradient your image should look something like this Now after that we need to set the blend mode of this gradient layer as soft light so let me just do that So now as you can see now we have applied the color to our logo now the next thing we need to do is add some tube kind of effect so for that make the group layer active by clicking on it and then click on add layer style option and then select the option as bevel and emboss Now in the pop up you need to set the style as in a bevel technique as smooth depth as 400% direction as up size to around 7 pixels soften as around 5 pixel and then make sure you tick this use global light option and then set the angle as around 90 degree altitude as around 30 degree click on the drop down of the gloss contour and then set the style as linear make sure you untick this anti alias option set the blend mode of the highlight mode as green color as white set opacity to around 50% set the blend mode of the shadow mode as multiply color as black and opacity to around 50% now let me just show you the before and after of this bevel and emboss effect 
so this was the before and now this is the after so as you can see it adds a nice neon tube kind of effect after that you can click on okay so now as you can see now our logo is looking so good so yeah that's it guys that's the final image i hope you guys like this video on how to create this neon glow logo in photoshop now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up it helps us in deciding what kinds of topic you want to watch more also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop thanks for watching bye bye